afraid this is going to be like the first video that people watch of me and then think that I'm just the weird lip smackers girl on the internet. Are these little secrets that I should just keep to myself, like not tell the internet about? since over a year ago before I redid my office feels fresh. Today's video is something that came to me in almost what feels like a fever dream. Like this idea is so silly to me, but I think it would be really fun. So if you watched my video last week, highly recommend. I finally exposed my weirdest childhood collections. I have been wanting to make that video for years on my channel since like before I even started my YouTube channel. I was like, this would be really fun to make and to watch as a viewer. And during that video, I kind of exposed you guys that, um, I still have a collection of lip smackers chapstick here and during the video I thought it would be really fun to do a dedicated video trying them. I was going to say tasting them which we won't be doing today but I do have a story about that and if you went to school with me like elementary school you know. You know. <laughs> These babies are probably like close to 20 years old. <laughs> Just saying that out loud makes me realize how disgusting this is, but you know, for some reason I still have this collection. It's been with me all these years. And we're gonna go through and smell them, sample them, see if they really live up to the hype and if they age well. So this is, <laughs> this is the video for the week, you guys. I hope you enjoy. I mentioned this last week, but I just want to give you guys some fun content right now. There's a lot of more serious, major editing, intense, not intense, like a bad thing, but videos that require a lot more time, work, editing, dedication to plan and prep that are coming to you at the end of December, early January that I am starting to work on right now. So in the meantime, I just wanted to do something fun, laid back, something that is I guess this. So that's the video for today. I hope that you enjoy. If you're a fan of like nostalgic childhood type of videos, I do have another video called Reading My Seventh Grade Diary that actually is doing really well and I'm so happy about that. I'll link that down below if you are curious as well as up above. It's really funny. It's pretty juicy for seventh grade drama, not going to lie. I also have a video where I expose my modeling days from my childhood and we go through my headshots and modeling photos. So that one's cringy but really fun as well. And today we are exposing one of my crazy collections and trying 20 year old lip smackers chapstick. So here we go. Of course, before we get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because it does help. Comment down below if you had lip smackers, what was your favorite flavor or scent or what's like a nostalgic childhood thing for you. And don't forget to subscribe. I always shut out the first comments on my social media. So be sure to be following me on Instagram as well. With all that being said though, which one should we dive into first? I'm pretty sure I got this for Easter one year as like part of my basket, but this is my collection. All right, now that you've seen all of them, let's dive in. I really wanna start with this yellow pink lemonade because I know that this was a big favorite of mine. I was just obsessed with the scent of it and it's probably a good time right now to fill you in on a reason why this is so like disgusting to me and why I was so obsessed with it because I was that kid in like, oh, first and second grade that would eat these because they smelled so good. And some of my friends that I like graduated high school with still know me today as the girl that ate lip smackers in second grade. Oh no, I think it lost its flavor. Hang on, let me scratch and sniff. Oh no, it's still there. Oh, it's weird, I like wanna put it in my mouth. Oh, I really wanna find the marshmallow one cause just from my memory, I know that like the pink marshmallow or whatever was another favorite. Oh, I found it. Is this it? Yeah, Martian Mallow. So it was like their version of Martian Mallow. It was a marshmallow. This one, another big favorite of mine. Really loved sucking on this one. And what I would do is I would just lather my lips a lot and then like lick my lips. I'm not gonna do it because I have actual lipstick on and I, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's 20 years old. This one did not survive the weather conditions. Oh, but it does still smell the same. Oh my God. Definitely a little bit more chemically than I remember, but still sweet and just like a marshmallow. Like I would, <laughs> this is so nostalgic. Another favorite of mine, <laughs> this 
is <laughs> I'm so afraid this is going to be like the first video that people watch of me and then think that I'm just the weird lip smackers girl on the internet but cotton candy holy crap oh <laughs> Girl, you can tell that this was a favorite of mine. She's gone. I can still, the faintest sweet scent that I know I just licked for hours in class. The fact that I hid these in my uniform skirt pocket all day, it would take them out like they were illegal and just be all like, <laughs> put them back in. Oh my god, I'm getting really comfortable with you guys. Speaking of, next one here, I don't think this was quite a favorite of mine because it feels a lot heavier than the other one, so it's pretty full. It's the Planetary Berry. Oh god, you know, for being almost 20 years old, I don't know how well they're holding up. Yeah, now she just smells like Burt's Bees, like a beeswax. She lost all sense. <gasps> oh my god, bubble gum. Oh my god, this scent might make me cry. This smells like Polly Pockets and Hubba Bubba and Baby Bottle Pop. Just like early 2000s scent nostalgia right there. Oh my god, you know I almost, I wish I could put these on. Let me just put it on my skin. Oh, can we bring lip smackers back or are they still a thing? I need to go to my Target and see, but. <laughs> okay, now we have Berry Heavenly. Oh. Oh no, she did not get rolled down. She's stuck in the cap. Well, this is very heavenly. She lost sense. It's crazy how some of them hold up and some really don't. Also, if you think it's weird that I still have these, I'm a very sentimental hoarder, so I keep everything from my childhood in labeled boxes. I'm like an organized hoarder. <laughs> so I have boxes for every single year or like period of my life, like lower school, middle school, upper school, college. It's really hard for me to get rid of things, as you can tell from my last video that I posted. Uh-oh, I'm just staring at a cap without um, a tube, so. That'll be interesting. But yeah, I definitely need to throw them away, but they will sit in my lower school bin of things from my childhood, I know. And eventually, yes, they will get thrown away. Okay, this one, I think I got in my stocking towards the end of my Lip Smacker collection era. I didn't even use this one. I can tell. Cherry Lip Balm from High School Musical. I was in fourth grade. A little old for my Lip Smacker collection. I'm doing like a swatch of it on my... Oh, she has color. Do you see that? And honestly, she's in such great shape. I really... Oh my... I'm gonna do it. Honestly, this one's not 20 years old and it shows. I feel like the worst shape that they're in, like the better that I know they're gonna be. <laughs> like the smell of it, like the more nostalgic because I love them. Oh God, this one is, this one's 20 years old. You wanna know how I can tell? The scent is 2000 cookies for the year 2000. Oh, and she was loved. There are marks in there. I don't know if those are teeth marks or what, but we we were a fan of her. Why do some of the older ones still smell, but the ones that like I've never touched don't have a scent? Oh, this is childhood. Never in my YouTube career did I think I would be swatching 20 year old lip smackers on my wrist for a video. This one looks like another favorite because the label is completely worn off. It is a strawberry cheesecake. Oh, but can we talk about the 90s logo print? Like that screams Rugrats, Hey Arnold, Cartoon Network, oh my God. God, and the colors. I'm so glad some of it's coming back. We need to bring back lip smackers though. Ooh, she's not doing well. Yeah, that's not going on my body, but oh, some of this is just making me sad. The scent is doing things to me. Just for like a day, can I go back? I just want to listen to Radio Disney, Michelle Branch, and Lindsay Lohan. Ooh, this one I literally chewed on like candy because it's from Bubble Yum, which I don't even know if that's a brand anymore. Bubble Yum Bubble Gum, and it's a lip balm and it still smells. It smelled just like their bubble gum. I see marks in the chapstick again. I would treat this like a tube of bubble gum. Oh my God, I feel like, are these little secrets that I should just keep to myself, like not tell the internet about? Because it's from my childhood, I feel like that's the excuse enough is that I was a kid. Ooh, that is straight up candy. This must have been so confusing to me at five, six, seven years old because they smell just like things that you wanna eat, but you're not allowed to eat them. I found this in the girl's locker room in kindergarten at my school. I went to use the bathroom during gym class. This was in there. This is what started this collection because it was the first thing I ever found that was lip smackers. Oh my God, if you can still see the logo on that, like 
the font, the sparkles. This baby is 20 years old. This is disgusting. It's covered in hair. It's called Whirling Watermelon. And yeah, it, it wasn't even mine. So it was really gross. But hey, I was five. So we'll let that one slide. Oh, she's... <gasps> she smells the same. I wish... Here, smell it. I wish you could smell it. If I have any friends that don't think this is weird that want to come over and smell these lip gloss. Bennett, I'm talking to you. Wow, this smells like kindergarten. It's so crazy. I remember sitting in the gymnasium with this hiding in my pocket and this other girl being like, I want it, I want it, let me try. And then we were just sniffing this in gym class. <laughs> well, we were putting it on, but I'm not putting this on my lips, no way. You know how people do like mukbangs? Would you guys want like a 30 minute video of me just smelling all of my lipstick? <laughs> This I also found at my school. Don't ask. I was in kindergarten again. I found this in like a middle school hallway. It's actually holding up really well besides the color, but like the logo of this, come on. Is that not 2000 or what? Oh, I wish life still looked like this. This is wavy watermelon. Hopefully it still has the same scent because this one, mm, I could swallow this whole. I feel like I'm, I'm, my mind is transforming back to my six-year-old self and like I would literally have these thoughts. I'll probably cut this out. Oh my god. Even the feeling of this fuzzy brush, it brings me back. Sorry, I know that was really gross. It's part of the video. I said I would do it. I'm trying 20-year-old lipstick. It's called a flip juice. Lip smackers, flip juices. Petition to bring back flip juices. <laughs> okay, what's with all the water? Are these the same? I have wavy watermelon, winter watermelon, and now way out watermelon. This one was another favorite because it was a long tube. Again, the logo is just making me sick with nostalgia, but this was a big favorite of mine. Ages six and up. Was I six when I had this? I'm not even sure. This, I feel like was first grade. Ooh, she's still glossy. Okay, this one doesn't have as much of a scent. It kind of just smells like chemicals, but it might also be gone. Oh, no, wait, now it's burning my nose. Okay, we're gonna close this one up. Lip frosting. It's literally called frosting. I'm like, <laughs> please stay subscribed to me. I think I saw the word frosting and treated this like frosting. The fact that this is covered in like sand and dirt just proves I was probably playing in a sandbox with this. Okay, there's no scent to it. I was trying to get the little bit that's left in here like out. Is it weird that I'm touching something that like my six year old lips touched? Oh, I just made it weird. Strawberry lip frosting. Oh my god, kids these days will never know. They'll never know. Okay, this one was a really big favorite as well because I completely peeled off the labeling. So I have no idea what the scent was, but I remember being obsessed with this and playing with it in like first grade. Oh good, there's a hair. We will not be placing this on my skin, even though it's probably mild hair. Oh, it smells so sweet. It smells like the early 2000s. I do just want to eat that. I remember licking these, which is disgusting, but oh my God, wait, watermelon. It's just straight up watermelon, but I remember this. <gasps> <laughs> this is how you know it was a favorite because I licked this one dry. <laughs> But she's gone. What's crazy is I had such tiny fingers and nails. I remember like digging in here just to get a little bit more. Watermelon, such a good scent. Oh my God. Guys, I think I found my wedding ring. Pretty sure I got married with this baby on. This was all the rage back in 2000. If I got married with it on though, it was definitely like 2003. 2002, 2003, I don't know. This was by far the coolest thing of the, its time because it was a heart-shaped glitter ring, probably made with resin thanks to TikTok, now I know. But it pops open and what bam you have chapstick! Does not smell, but you can tell it was loved because it's almost gone. And I'm pretty sure this was like one of my wedding rings with my husband at the time. <laughs> I was madly in love with him. While we're into like crazy concepts and weird shapes, this was also the coolest thing ever. It was a necklace, I'm pretty sure. You can see the chain up there. Not only was it a freaking necklace, but it was a dual tone lip smackers or like lipstick thing. It had like a gloss around the outside in the shape of a heart and then a heart in the middle with like a different lipstick. I'm not gonna touch it though. This is, this one's gnarly. Oh my god! Why is this like such an experience for me? Um, <laughs> this is when Lip Smackers collaborated with Starbursts and I got a Lip Smackers Starburst pop, a lollipop. This was so crazy cool. 
Mm, it smells like the pink Starburst. I'm gonna do it. Oh, it's, I mean, it's really sticky now. I feel like it was really light before. Mmm, I almost, I'm not going to, but I, I'm tempted to try it out. I was the coolest chick in town with my Lip Smackers lollipop. Holy crap. Oh, we got some more tubes. Oh no! <laughs> oh, whoa, this brings me back to my OCD days as a child. Back when I should have realized I was controlling a little bit and everything had to be neat in my way. I used to display all of my chapstick and Lip Smackers in a color-coded line like this down my desk and not one could fall over if one I had to fix it it's funny how traits like that you can see in childhood but you might not recognize or realize that they're going to make you the way that you are today Michael Scott why are you the way that you are oh I found the missing cap I think or the thing that was missing a cap oh god we're not gonna give her full focus but this was a berry jelly donut does not smell like one anymore. This one wasn't Lip Smackers. I can barely read out the label, but I know this was a favorite of mine. If anyone recognizes this, it's Raspberry Cherry Lip Twirls. And okay, I will give this company credit, even though I don't think they exist anymore, because it still smells the way that it did back in first grade. Nothing can compare. Like, I can't compare this scent to anything. I wish I could tell you what it smells like. It just smells like raspberry cherry lip twirls from 2000. It smells like Mandy Moore in The Princess Diaries performing Stupid Cupid. That's what this smells like. <laughs> We have another lip frosting, which again, I treated like actual cake frosting. Smackers birthday lip frosting. Oh my God, doesn't this just like look like um, a frizzy Lizzie? Was that a doll? Oh my God, and she's right there, ready to go as soon as I open it. God, that sounded wrong. I don't really smell anything. Put a little bit on my hand. Now I smell it. Oh my God, it's actually looking really nice. I wish. Should I? I mean, that's why we're here for the video. I keep thinking it's gross, but like, I'm making a video calling, trying. Oh God. Luna, my cat keeps stealing on my lip smackers. I can see it now. This is gonna be one of those Snapchat Buzzfeed headliners where it's like, girl eats lip smackers. I'm just trying it, okay? I'm not even gonna eat it. I just, I can see, I can see where this is going. Oh, oh my God. That was nice. I will take that back, miss. Keep stealing on my lip smackers. Oh, you know what? This isn't the cap to that. It's the cap to this. This is actually from Blistix, so it's not lip smackers, but it's peaches and cream, another wonderful flavor. Can you hear my cat playing with these chapsticks? I'm so sorry. I don't think this was the color. Luna, what do you have? Get out, out. Knocking over my tripod, playing with my chapstick. It's no lip smackers. I can't smell it anymore. Nope, it's lost all flavor. Flavor, me eating them as a child. Speaking of that brand though, Blistex, they did have a nice line of tropical smoothie lip protectant sunscreen. 15 SPF tropical smoothie lip balm. Oh my God, did I love these. We have Melon Medley, Berry Explosion, Triple Tropical, and I know this one was a fave. I take back everything I said because this still smells the freaking same. Oh my God. Oh, it's like a mango smoothie from Jamba Juice, but better. Oh, you know what? This one might've been a favorite because she's gone. I don't know if I like to wear her or eat her, but Berry Explosion was a hit in 2000 whatever year this was. Melon Medley? Ooh, this though. I definitely enjoyed chewing on this, I can tell. This is so weird. I can tell because I've got teeth marks. <laughs> uh, you know every side of me now, guys. This smells like something and I can't think of it, but it's like a berry, a Mai Tai or a, a pina colada. Okay, this is making me really happy and I definitely have to listen to some early 2000s throwbacks after this. If you actually want to know what I listen to, I do have a Spotify with a ton of public playlists, including my throwback playlist, which I'll be playing after I film this video. So check out my Spotify if you're curious. Strawberry Lip Smackers. This one is holding up amazingly. Nothing has smeared or peeled off. Ooh, she was a favorite because she's almost gone. Okay, this one. Smells a little bit like beeswax. There's a hint of strawberry. I'll give them that. 
I'm pretty sure this was my mother's. It's like a sweet childhood memory. I remember stealing your mother's makeup or maybe she gave it to me, I don't know. Even the grown-ups had this like tube with the circle on top, like the juicy tubes. I know those came back. I saw a lot of PR packages for that. Label is completely wiped off, so I have no idea what makeup brand this was. Oh, kind of smells like my mom. What a scent, what a happy scent that is. I've actually set aside some that I wanted to show you because I got them for Christmas one year and I never actually used them. However, I do have quite the collection. I wonder if they're worth anything on eBay. I know this brand gets pretty nostalgic, but I have a glitter Christmas holiday exclusive collection of Hello Kitty lip balm. Oh my gosh. So we have a sugar plum, marshmallow, cotton candy, sugar cookie, gingerbread, apple cider, and hot chocolate. I never even used them. You can tell because it has that like brand new chapstick layer. Just looks really flat. Yeah, this is brand spanking new. I never touched it. Am I wrong to think these might be worth something? Because isn't the Hello Kitty fandom pretty intense? I saved the best for last in here. You're gonna die. These are from Claire's. Well, first I do have a sunscreen chapstick. Doesn't smell like anything. If anything, it just smells really bad. Oh my God. After my lip smacker stays, I started to discover Claire's. Claire's used to have these tiny little lip gloss tubes. Now this was after my licking on lip smackers days. I was mature now, I didn't eat my lip gloss, but I do have this nice collection that comes in a nice array of colors that I would wear back when glossy lip gloss was all the rage. It doesn't smell like lip smackers, but this smells like sixth grade in like the worst possible ways. Oh my God, you know, these are not 20 years old. They're probably what, like 15? I don't know, I'm really bad at math, you guys. Oh, you know what? I think I actually used these in a video that I posted called recreating my middle school self or something. Jenna Marbles did that trend a long time ago where she redid her middle school makeup. So I wanted to try, I'm gonna link it. It's so underrated. Like I think it's such a cool video where I literally put makeup on, put on the outfit and dance the way I did in middle school. I'm gonna link it, you're gonna love it. And I'm pretty sure I wore these in the video because I really love the white like frosted lip gloss. Yeah, they all smell like Claire's chemicals. And then I also have these little tubes of glitter. They're makeup, I know that, but I don't know what exactly they are. Does this ring a nostalgic bell to anybody else? It's powder. Oh God, as an adult, this one looks a little sketch. Oh my God, they don't even come out. Cosmic dust. What do you do with cosmic dust? So I have these three little bottles of cosmic dust. Somehow they are makeup. I really wanna go wash my hands. They've become quite sticky after this video. That is my Lip Smackers collection. I can't believe I made this video. Okay, let's put everyone back in the box. I wish I could play copyrighted early 2000s music in this video. It just feels right, but I can't. So let's just all pretend that we're rocking out to Hilary Duff, okay? Well, I just washed my hands and cleared up my lips a little bit because this was a sticky but fun video. I hope you enjoyed this really fun, weird video of me trying my 20 years old Lip Smackers collection. Honestly, I wasn't even expecting to have this much fun, but it put me in such a great mood. I just feel so nostalgic and happy to celebrate my younger self and to give her like this time in the spotlight to be remembered and honored and I hope that you guys stay subscribed and don't find me too weird this is my token okay this if we can all choose that one weird thing that we did as a child because I know we all carry that with us as adults this is mine okay I had a big ass pocket full of lip smackers that I would lather on my lips and throughout the day have a little snack at school <laughs> Don't forget to check out last week's Weird Collections video along with my recreating my middle school makeover look and any other videos I mentioned. It'll all be linked down below. And definitely subscribe because like I said, I am putting out a ton of great content at the shift of the new year that I'm working really hard on right now that you do not want to miss. With all of that being said though, I will see you guys next Thursday. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Follow me on Instagram, subscribe, do all the things. And yeah, I'll see you guys then. Bye. I was so hurt and upset that I never gave him another chance. Ah! Did not think that move through.